Hallelujah. I greet everybody in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I trust, Master Jesus, that you are doing well. I'm also blessed in Christ. I've closed from work today. And um, I said, let me pass by the store. And uh, this is going to be a very brief and short um, video. I haven't been here in a long period of time. May the Lord have mercy. It's, it's been a while. I hope everybody is doing well in Christ. Um, continue to hold steadfast to your faith and don't give up. So today I'm not wearing my, my scarf as, as I always do before making videos because I went to work. I just closed. This is my natural hair. I've twisted it. Yes. Um, so I said, let me pass by Walmart here um, in North Carolina where I live. Um, and so I went into the store, got whatever I needed to get, paid for it at the self-checkout area. And as I was about to leave the self-checkout area, I spotted a, a young lady who was also um, paying for her things. And he, she's wearing something like a mini bra, like a brazier, a bra. So you can see her belly, her back. A bare back, bare belly, and he, she's wearing a short, a short pants. So her skin, like she's like half naked to me, almost naked. And I know it's 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 almost summer, so it's it's only gonna get worse with all this indecent, indecent attire, indecent um, dressing from both the young and the old. Um, I was in cultural shock when I, the first time when I was in America, I saw them almost naked, just with pants and, and bra. And some of them, they don't even have the bra. I'm like, Jesus, the devil is really, a, in fact, the devil lives here. <laughs> in Africa, the devils come in and go, but here the devil lives here. The devil is highly educated in America. So... He he tread with them with with <laughs> anyways. Um so I looked at her. Something made me look at her. I looked at her and I saw two beads. Beads B E A D S beads. Very small, small ones. The small tiny beads. Two of them, two strands of beads, is by the waist, belly waist area. And uh, I know it's fashion because I've seen most of these young ladies, even older ladies, they have a lot of beads on their ankle, around their ankle. All these people are spiritually chained like dogs. I tell you the truth. <laughs> they are chained. But in the physical realm, they think they are following trend and fashion and everything. But if you, are, if you have all those things, you are chained in the spirit. Pray for your deliverance. And I pray that God will deliver you. In Jesus' name. Um, so I looked at it. I looked. Uh, my eye went straight to the beads. And suddenly my my other eye opened. Not this big physical eye. The other eye opened. And I saw that it's not an ordinary beads this lady is wearing. It's snakes. Two snakes. Can I repeat that? There were two snakes bound around her waist. So the beads that anybody will see that, oh, this is a, a fashion trade beat. It's not just beads, but they are snakes, two snakes, a black and a green snake, snakes. And I'm um, somebody I hate. I cannot stand. They are so creepy to me. These animals are so creepy. So I don't want to look at them twice. So I immediately removed my arm and started going. And I saw the tattoo too that was on her, um, I believe, left arm or so. Is 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 a statue of an Indian? Is a is a image of an Indian god. And I'm I'm able to say that because of what I heard in the spirit, within me. And the lady has um, earring in the nose like this. You know, they have this round earring that that hangs here. These are all chained. Anybody that does, they are all chained in the spirit. I tell you the truth. 
the earring is here. There is some here, 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 all over here. <laughs> Last time someone was asking on that one of my videos, Mama, why are you not wearing uh, uh, earrings? Sister, I don't need earrings to look like a, a woman. I was born a woman from my mother's womb. So I don't need jewelries to justify my womanhood. It's only those with low understanding in heart. They lack understanding. That's why you put access, you accessorize your body. I am, according to Psalm 139 verse 4, I am wonderfully and fearfully made. And my soul knows that too well. I don't need to please you. I don't need to please anybody. <laughs> and I say that with all humility and in the understanding of mind. Amen. All right. So as I'm going, I begin to hear in my spirit that you see those snakes that is bound to her waist. I said, yeah, I saw it. It's a spirit of lust. And it's imputing lust into her. And so everything that this young lady will see, she will go and do. Every trending thing she will go and do. Because the lust, the God of lust is within her. See, as you tattoo yourself from head to toe, you open your one of the gateway, which is your the, the sense of touch, you know, your body. You open it's one of the gateways to your soul. You open it for demons to come in. And just like the man in the gatherings was possessed with legions of demons, many young ladies and young men are walking bound in the realm of the spirit because they are possessed by legions of demons. It's rather unfortunate, but it is what it is. If your mother pray for your children, pray, pray for your daughters, your teenage daughters, your, you know, those in the early twenties, pray for them. It is so easy for this demon, this spirit, the last spirit that is uh, exposed. You know, it's not hidden under a dress. It's exposed. So if you don't have the power of God ruling in you, it's so easy that when, when you even look at it, is able to attract you to go, ah, this is beautiful beats. You may even want to touch it. And I tell you the truth. You see, there are things happening in the physical, it manifests in the spirit. You will touch it and get possessed immediately. If your spirit you know, is not strong with the Holy Ghost, you will look at it and admire it. And the moment you admire it, it will attract you. It will come and possess you. Pray for your young men, mothers. Even if you don't have young, a young, a, a young son, pray for mothers with young son, children. You know, these young men will see this young lady in tattoos and jewelry, uh, nose, uh, uh, whatever, and these bees full of lust, the spirit of lust, and they will begin to lust after them. And before you know, they are fornicating, frolicking and fornicating. Filled with the spirit of fornication. And by the time you realize their lives are messed up. They won't get married. They'll be, they'll be impregnating, giving birth here and there. Education messed up. Everything messed up. The devil will keep them in coke, cracks, you know, all this bondage. Simply because they went in into a woman full of lust, full of evil. You don't know when your, your son will start doing coke and, uh, you know, drugs, hard drugs, metaf uh, metam metamphenamine and, uh, and all those things, heroin. Pray for them. We are God on this earth. We are to stand in the gap and pray and intercede. If you're a believer... Please, don't be selfish. Don't pray selfish prayer. All the time it's about you and your children or it's about you and your, me, myself and I. Intercede. Intercede. I pray for that young lady to be delivered from this possession of the enemy. Why am I telling you this? Beloved, before you leave your home and go to the store, soak yourself with the blood of Jesus. Soak yourself in the power of God. 
that you don't get possessed, that you don't get attracted to anything evil. And discipline yourself. Let's discipline ourselves. It's not everything that you look at. It's not everything that you give your time to. Because whatever you give your attention to and begin to last after, it can possess you. That's what happened to Eve in the Garden of Eden. He, she gave it a good look. And suddenly, she was attracted by lust. And then what happened? It entered her out that this is a good thing to, to go in for. Young men will look after these ladies have naked body. As summer is coming in America, many young men will fall for, for these young women with, with, with the uh, uh, indecent dressing, full of lust. They will possess them. They will get attracted. They will get possessed. They will start fornicating. That's how they will end up in drugs and their lives will be turned upside down. And that's how Satan wants us. Let's be careful. Pray for the young men. Pray for the youth. Let's pray. Intercede for them. Even if it's one minute. Father, deliver the youth. The youth of this day. Deliver them from every form of bondage. Every form of addiction. Deliver them. And the God of all flesh will have mercy. God is waiting on you to do that intercessory prayer. For heaven to move. For whatever we will bind on this earth is bound in heaven. And when we lose it by faith, it's already losing. May God help us. May God bless you. May God give you the heart of discipline. You know, sometimes you go to the store, you have your list. You want to go buy two, three things. By the time you realize you've bought what you are not supposed to buy and your, your account is in red. You know, this, most of these companies, they, they have a, a part with the, the devil to attract souls to come into the store and buy. So you can go to the store and buy unnecessary things when you've not planned to buy. But if you're a child of God and you soak yourself in the blood of Jesus, your money is not going to go into this evil people's company. Just anyhow. I'm speaking to the prudent, the wise in the kingdom. May God help us in Jesus' name. And may God give you greater understanding, even better than what I just said <laughs> in Jesus' name. I love you guys. I love everybody. And I'm praying for all of us that we will make it. One day we will stand before the Lord and we will account everything we did in our body, whether good or bad, whether we like it or yes. May God help us. Amen.